let me just tell you a little bit about Nashville, okay? Because I had somebody comment about this, and I, and I feel bad for young artists that are trying to make it. So Nashville used to be a much more open place 20 years ago, 21 years ago when I got here, but it's super duper, it's always been super duper competitive, right? Because imagine you're compacting all the talented people in music into one place. You're not just in New York, you're not just in LA, you're not just in Chicago, you're all huddled in one mass and it becomes like rats in a maze. The other problem is it's a very passive aggressive place. Now, personally, I don't do well with passive aggressive. I'm a New Yorker. I <laughs> So, uh, one of the great things about being from New York is we're very direct. We tell people what we want, what we expect, and they reciprocate or they don't work with you or and you don't work with them, right? It's very direct. People know what to expect. It's actually kind of cool. It's not the way it is here. It's always been a passive aggressive place, even before it got jam packed with people huddling here trying to make it, especially now that the music business has shrunk so much. So my advice to you is don't deal with it. Don't deal with the passive aggressiveness. If you're not a passive aggressive person, just ignore it. Just do what you do, get excellent, promote yourself, create your image as best as humanly possible and put your music out there on platforms like this. Remember, now we have how many different platforms? You got Facebook, you got YouTube, you've got Instagram, you've got TikTok. You've got things we never had when I started out. I wish we had. Of course, you have to use them wisely. You learn how to use them. But don't get caught up on what people aren't doing for you or aren't responding to or are being um, coy with you um, because they don't want to hurt your feelings. I think this all goes back to when the Dixie Chicks made it big. They put the name of the guy who turned them down <laughs> in their book and everyone's afraid. But trust me, everyone was afraid before that. The way you get around it is you don't deal with it at all. You don't deal with it. You make yourself a hot commodity. You spend all your time putting your music out there as best as you can. Your image is what matters on all these platforms and how you get perceived is going to dictate how far you go because they will come to you if you're getting all the mileage, if you're getting all the attention, if you've got the numbers, right? So it's not about sales anymore. It's not. So I wish it was, it's not, but you can turn that into sales by ignoring the passive aggressiveness and being aggressive yourself for yourself in your career. So just freaking charge on, all right?